What's up buddies, welcome back, you're watching Hard Video Audio Stuff. And for you guys in this video, I've got a demonstration tutorial slash review of Motion VFX M Callouts Specs, which is an animated titles plugin. If you're new to this channel and you enjoy this free content, please be sure to hit like and subscribe. Let's do it. That's, yeah, that's my finger. Before we start, just to let you know, as always, everything mentioned in this video is going to be linked below. And here's a little cheeky tip for you. You can download a free demo version of this software through that link. It's a no-brainer. But what is M Callout Specs? Well, it's a bundle of 50 incredibly professional looking animated titles for Final Cut that you can track objects with with just a few clicks. Like if you're wondering where my right eye is, I can label it. Or how about this? And what about this finger again? Let me just show you how easy it is to track these objects. So here on the left, you can see all the presets you get with M Callout specs. There's quite a few to look through. There's lots of different themes and different icons, and you can usually find one that suits what you're doing. So we're gonna track my eye. So for this one, we're gonna go with the graphics preset, and that's because it has an eye for an icon. I thought that was appropriate. So I've dropped it in place, and I'm just gonna trim it down so it's the right length. By default, these plugins will animate in and then animate out at the end of it. In this clip, I've got a hard cut at the end of the scene, so I'm gonna turn off the animate out. That way the graphic will just stay there until the scene ends. Next, we're gonna do our tracking. So I'm gonna drag this box over my eye because that's what we want to track. All we need to do then is just hit the track button and that is it. The program just does its thing. You'll find it easier tracking things like eyes because it's an area of high contrast. As you can see here, M Call Arts has locked onto my eye and I know the tracking is gonna be solid. Admittedly, it was slightly more tricky to track the end of my finger just because it had less contrast. Then when I play the clip back, you can see it is completely locked in. It's tracked it brilliantly. All I need to do then is just come into the right hand panel and just do a little bit of editing, add some text, format it, and it's just ready to go. It's so easy. And Call Out Specs has a ton of applications because it has so many presets. And within the presets, there are a ton of different icons available. This means I can set up a slider shot with lots of disparate items, use a mix of presets and icons within the M Call Out Specs bundle, and still the titles make sense and look classy. I can even import assets into my titles. Like in this shot where I've got a slider movement with two Canon lenses and I thought it would look cool to use the Canon logo. I was able to achieve this with drop zones, so I'll show you how to do that now. So we're starting off with this slider clip of the two Canon lenses and to use drop zones, we're gonna select any preset that has these white boxes in. That indicates that we can drop media in and have it customized. For this example, we're gonna use the detail preset because I just like the way it looks. As before, I'm going to position it and in this example, I actually want it to stretch over the entire clip. As before, I'm gonna get the tracking done first and of course, M Call Arts has absolutely no problem tracking something like this. After doing some easy formatting and adding some text, we're gonna be ready to add some media via the drop zone. So I just did a search on Google for Canon logo PNG and usually you can find a logo with a transparent background. All you need to do is import the image into your project, click where it says drop zone and then select that image. As you can see, that's placed the image into our title, but it's way too big. That's an easy fix. You can just adjust the inner scale of the image. And there we are, sorted. I just needed to do the same thing for the other lens, and that's my shot done. Another way that I love using M Callouts is as lower thirds. And I know this is not the purpose of them at all, but when they look this good, I don't see any reason why we shouldn't be using them like this. In fact, all of the lower thirds you've seen in this video are from the original M Call Arts pack. So I'll show you how I do them now. So this is a sneaky peek at what you get with the original M Callouts pack. And the one that I've been using for this video is actually the M Callouts 9 Modern Design preset. I love this preset because it's particularly easy for getting it looking good as a lower third. Because it doesn't have a line between the tracking box and the actual title itself, you can just drag the box just below your frame and you can't even tell that it's meant to be a tracked item. Just sort out your text and align it and you are good to go. This was an easy example, so let me just show you another one which takes a little bit more tweaking. It's still pretty easy. I'm gonna go for the minimalism of design in callouts preset number 33. And as you can see, this one has a line between the tracking box and the actual title itself. All I need to do is find the parameter that allows me to make that line disappear. In this case, it's called line width and I'm just going to set it to zero and it's gone. 
So there you have it. And obviously with these examples, remember you won't need to do any kind of tracking. So it's really easy on your processing power, but you still get the amazing benefit of them being very slick and nicely animated. Next up, let me tell you about a few of the quirks. Whilst I clearly love M Call Out specs, I'm also a stickler for being objective and this isn't a sponsored video, so I, there's a few quirks that I want to show you just, you know, just in case, things that you could run into. Occasionally, when you've been working on a project and then you reopen it, you might notice some changes in the positioning of your titles, which is clearly an easy fix and this doesn't happen very often so just just keep an eye on that. I've noticed a similar quirk where if you've been working on a project and all of your titles are where they weren't meant to be and then you render it down sometimes they shift weirdly in the rendering process and I'm not sure why this is. Usually all you need to do to fix this is just to do another render and nine times out of ten it'll be fine but my fix if that doesn't work is to right click on that instance of mcall arts and make it a compound clip and that should fix it. The last thing to mention is obviously if you load too many instances of mcall arts at once in your project you could notice some slowdown it kind of goes without saying. I mean, anything that's doing really tough work, you know, motion tracking, that kind of thing, is bound to have this kind of effect. But to its credit, uh, for what M Call Arts can do, in terms of like the processing power needed, these are extremely lean effects. Finally, onto my opinion, and I am a smitten kitten for M Call Arts specs. It's just so slick looking. It's so easy to use. It's pretty good value, and I just I'd recommend it in a heartbeat. Motion VFX actually make five bundles of different M Call Arts plugins. There's the M Call Arts Simple, M Call Arts Two, M Call Arts Specs, of course, the M Call Arts Tech and M Call Arts High Tech bundles. And I tell you what, if I get specific requests to review any of those ones, I, I will do so because I do read your comments and I do listen. I take note. So definitely get it down there. Let me know. Anyway, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful and interesting. I've got a large back catalogue of videos about video of which YouTube recommends this top one for you. And the one below is my most recent upload. Until next time, let's help each other out and shoot better video. See you guys.